Uh, welcome back. This is Rox Revan Hart, the Rox Revan Hart channel, doing some Q&A, which seems to be really stuck on the dirty questions tonight. I guess it's in theme to the whole Valentine's coming up. I guess that's what I asked, so I deserve this. Put myself out on a limb here, but uh, in this one, this question that came up, do I prefer women with tattoos or clean slate? That's a pretty good question. In today's world, there are a lot of women, full sleeves, tat getting to the point where they're just tatting their faces because they've run out of canvas. Uh, and they're all hot. I mean, a lot of that is pretty hot. I can't, I can't lie, a lot of it's pretty hot. But for me, I kind of prefer more of a clean slate, to be dead honest. Though I don't rule out the total decked out and all that. I'll get into that in a minute. But clean slate for me, I don't know. I kind of like being able to see that smooth flesh, undisturbed, kind of feels like it's my my territory to mark uh, in a partner kind of thing. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It feels like for me, delving into the ability, it, it's not that I rule it out. Maybe be able to get matching tattoos or <laughs> maybe be able to get tattoos together not necessarily matching would be kind of fun great date idea to go out get tattoos together so it doesn't necessarily have to be matching it's a little whatever however that works I myself only have one tattoo and I'm sitting here trying to be a tattoo artist trying to learn the, the ropes and how to do that and like, I'm one to talk about clean slates and stuff like that. I'm a little too... Yeah. I'm not afraid to get tattoos. I mean, I fucking don't care. The, the pain and all that fun stuff doesn't bother me. It's the indecision for me about getting tattoos. I, I have a couple ideas I want, but the, the art style is not matching the vision I have for it, so I just have not done it. What a shame. I love the women out there that do have the tattoos, but I also love the women out there that have completely clean slated. Both are good in my book, but I do kind of lean towards prefer the non-tatted chicks. But now, my one exception to the rule is I'm not a big fan of the tramp stamps. No offense to any of you out there that have them. I understand you kind of got to build to have filler and stuff to connect it all, but. I, I don't want to say it's a bad thing. I mean, that's kind of wrong. I think it's all good, really. But it's all art. As long as it's art, and as long as it has some kind of memory or something special attached to it, that's cool. But I'm not a big fan of just like one stamp here, one stamp there. You know, the, the cheaper tattoos, the you know, shelled out a paycheck into it or something with not a lot of, pro not saying everybody does this but not a lot of thought put into it. Just went in and picked it out of the tattoo book. Here, give me this one. You know, those don't really, I'm gonna talk, I, mine is not a tramp stamp. It is of our own design. My girlfriend designed it and we stamped it on me basically. We, we, we tatted it. It's, uh, I guess I can kind of show it, hopefully, you know, it's, it's, Kind of like a tribal or whatever, however lame that was. <laughs> but it's of a wolf. It's, it's meaningful to me. And it's uh, of her design, which also means something to me. So I mean, it's wolf necklace. You know, I'm kind of big on the wolf thing. So I'm getting hot in here. It feels a little kind of crazy that I'm, I'm, I'm stuttering around on this. Because I do value tattoos and tattooed people and tattooed women. But I do like the clean slate. I kind of feel, I don't know. I like the clean slate. <laughs> I like what I like. I like the, the smooth kind of, it doesn't matter the color of the skin, don't get me wrong, but the, the smooth, clear skin, you pull out off like the Morticia look or something like that, you know what I mean? It, again, I'm not skin biased. You can be any color and still pull off the magician, the Morticia look. 
that's besides the point. But a clean slate to me is just as beautiful as a full work of art. One thing I don't like is, and I'll probably get a lot of shit for this, but the dead center chest tattoo on guys or girls. But that's an OCD issue for me, as I kind of feel like it should be off center pieces or two pieces that kind of have a reason to connect in the middle. I'm okay with that. Two opposing art pieces that are slightly different. I don't not mirror imaged, but but that's kind of me. That's my own weird thing about that. Symmetrical dead center things. Unless there is a lot more going with it. Like if that's the only thing going on around here, I find that kind of a not as attractive. It's not a deal breaker, but it's just not as attractive to me. Unless there is a plan to kind of keep going further with it, get more going up the neck, you know, that kind of stuff, more with it. But what I do find hot, I don't know why this bothers me, but this is attractive to me. The under bust tattoos. I love those for some reason. I think they're great. I don't, I think they look part of the, like an, almost like an attire. So I don't know. I'm weird by it. I have no hate for tattoos whatsoever. Don't get me wrong. As long as it's quality, as long as it means something to you, even if it is not quality and it's done jailhouse or done by your friend with a, with a pick a poke, done cheap, whatever. As long as it has some kind of meaning to you, memory, especially memory. I, I think anything should have kind of like a memory attachment. I've dug myself in deep with this question. Thanks for asking. Uh, hopefully I haven't offended anybody. I probably have. I feel terrible if I did. To me it's all good, but this is a preference thing, so I do prefer the clean slate versus tattoo. But that is not a deal breaker. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment below how you feel about that. Share the video, whatever. Thank you.